Okay, we are now gonna shade the hair. If you have hairlines already in your hair, um, you may not need to do this, like if you have a whole ton of them. But what I like to do is first I will shade kinda if there is any hair coming behind the head. I'm gonna shade a little, I'm using the side of my pencil. And I'm just kinda adding some graphite, adding some marks to this area right in here where it would naturally look darker behind the head. Okay, so adding some shading there. Side of the pencil, it's very important people. You don't want it to look scribbly, you want it to look kind of neat. And it should be in kind of a U shape and bring it all the way down to the bottom if you'd like. But it should kind of taper in a little. Like so, you don't want the shading to go all the way out. Okay, and now I'm, since this is a larger area that I'm shading, I'm gonna use a tissue, okay, a Kleenex. So I'm gonna blend shade in here. Now I'm gonna go back in and re-outline the face so the face doesn't get uh, too blended into the hair. There we go. Fade it out. And then I'll re-add the lines back in because they're gonna get uh, almost erased, basically. So drawing back in my lines for my hair. If you're worried about forgetting where the lines are for the hair, you can like take a picture before you shade and look back. Now I'm just adding kind of some ripple to the bottom of the hair here just to make it look rounded. I'm gonna re-outline the face. Okay. Draw on those lines again. So I just started with some general shading of the space. Now what we also wanna do is we wanna shade in these lines that we're drawing, to make them look more, uh, make each strand look more rounded. Um, that's if you have very defined strands like I do anywhere. Okay. Adding in more probably than I had before. <laughs> Not a huge deal. Okay. Make sure I'm adding enough graphite so then when I do shade each of these lines, it actually shows up darker. Okay. Curving between each one here. Okay, oop, plus for me, thank you much. And I'm just gonna darken up that black space there. Okay, sounds good. Now I'm gonna go in with my Q-tip, okay, and I'm going to just shade, I'm gonna run my Q-tip over each one of the lines I just did. Just so they blend a little bit more smoothly into the hair. We don't want them to look so, I don't, I don't want the lines to look so harsh. You might want to leave yours if you don't want this look. It's an eraser junk on there still. And if you want it to be even darker, if you want the lines to be even darker, you can go over them with your pencil one more time and then blend again. It's kind of about layering to create darkness. Okay, so I'm going in. There we go. Go over that one. Okay. Very nice. And now if I want to, I can go in and make it darker, closer to the neck. If I want it to be like really dark right in here, I'll just go over it one more time. I might even lose some of the lines in the hair, which is fine. Not a big deal. But if I really want to emphasize that deep look, kind of shading up by the neck a little. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding, I'm giving this depth, I'm giving it, you know, dimension, making it look more realistic. Okay, there we go, Using the side of my pencil still, grab my handy dandy Kleenex, and shading a little bit more in there, wrapping it around my finger, so I'm technically using my finger, but with the Kleenex on it. Okay, and 
nice and dark right in there. There we go. Very nice. Nice and realistic looking. Okay. I can even, now I'm thinking about it, I might want to shade a little more up towards the edge of the head here. Just because I think it looks a little light there. It looks a little flat right by the face. So I want the face to stand out from the hair, so I can make the hair darker. Contrast, people. Contrast. around these nice and tight. This bird flew back to my head. <laughs> I live in a zoo, everybody. I live in a zoo. Okay. And then I'm just gonna re-outline the face because the line got a little bit smudged from blending. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to re-outline the ears also. There. Okay. There's that. Now I'm going to shade up here what I already have. I'm actually going to just go over the lines one more time to make them more dark. And then when I go over them, it will really emphasize the look of it. I'm actually going to just turn each of these strands into like an actual line there. Okay. So when you go over them, go like this. Just go right over the line. The bird does not want to go back to cage, wants to sit on my shoulder. Okay. So go back over each of the lines. So they look kind of fuzzy a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is also going to give the hair some, uh, I guess, color almost. It doesn't really give it color, but it gives it some value. Okay. Makes it look more realistic. So if you look at the difference from one side to the next, it really does look good with the shading like this. Adding in just that little bit of shading to it really helps. And then when you're shading the outside edge of the hair, you want to make sure that you go in with your eraser and erase around the outside because you want the edge of your character to look nice and crisp. Be careful you don't accidentally erase the line like I just did. Okay, just very carefully. Make sure it doesn't look too fuzzy. I'm gonna go over the lines at the bottom of the hair here and I'm actually gonna redraw in the, the lines in the darker area of the hair just because they look nicer when they're crisp. bird. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. So you can see the difference from one side to the next here when you add shading into the hair. And I like to make the scalp uh, part area just a little darker, so I'll shade right in there. And I can shade, bring it out a little into the hair if I want to. There we go. All right, people. Yeah, that's shading the hair. If you want to, you can shade the ears a little bit because they're kind of back on the face. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave one side empty for now just so you can see the, the difference from one to the next and hopefully that'll give you some incentive to shade the hair. But yeah, that's how you do it.